Hi friend, this is Vaibha Kunduskar. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Pharma Knowledge. Today's topic is the ICH Q8. ICH Q8 is nothing but the pharmaceutical development. This guideline is regarding the pharmaceutical development. Then, first we will see what is the objective of this ICH Q8. Main objective or aim of this pharmaceutical development is the to design the quality product and its manufacturing process to the consistently deliver the intended performance of the product. This is the main objective of the pharmaceutical development. Then next is the component of drug product. Basically, two two types of component of the drug product. First is the drug substances and second is the excipient. First is the drug substances. The physicochemical and biological properties of the drug substances that can influence the performance of the drug product and its manufacturability. So basically Physical chemical means physical and chemical and biological properties that can be impacting or influence the performance of the drug product. What this? What are these uh, different properties? Physical chemical and biological properties. For example, solubility, water content, particle size, crystal properties, permeability. These are the different examples of the properties that can be influence the performance of the drug product. Then next is the excipient. The excipient chosen and their concentration and the characteristics that can influence the drug product performance or manufacturing ability. So excipient concentration and their characteristics that can be impacting on the performance of the drug product. So concentration and their characteristics and which types of excipient you are choosing that is very important. The compatibility of the drug substances with excipient should be evaluated. For product that contain more than one drug substance, the compatibility of the drug substances with each other should be evaluated. Means the compatibility of the of the drug substances with excipient should be evaluated means suppose your drug substances and excipient are compatible with each other that should need to be evaluated and suppose in formulation two drug substances means this one drug substance is compatible with another drug substance that should need to be evaluated. Then drug product. Under this drug product, the formulation development, origins, physicochemical and biological properties. These are the covered under under this heading. So formulation development. Identification of those attributes that are critical to, to the quality of the drug products. Then highlight the evolution of the formulation design from initial concept to the final design. Then information from comparative in vitro studies like example dissolution or comparative in vivo studies like the B means bioequivalence that links clinical formulation to the proposed formulation. This is the regarding the formulation development. Then overages. Overages in the manufacture of the drug product, whether they appear in the final formulated product or not, should be justified considering the safety and efficacy of the product. Means, sometimes overages need to be justified. Means, uh, why we are using the overages? That justification need, need to be means uh, it should be justified. Then information should be provided on the 
amount of orages means how much you have uh, taken the orages then the reason of reason for the orages why the orages uh, um, means why why we are using the orages means to compare uh, compensate the uh, for the expected and documented manufacturing losses or uh, any degradation happen so that should be need to uh, justify or give the reason proper reason and justification for the amount of orages then physico chemical and biological properties the physico chemical and biological properties relevant to the safety performance or manufacturability of the drug product should be identified and discussed this include the physico uh, means physiological implication of drug substance and formulation attributes this is regarding the physical chemical and biological properties then manufacturing process development address the selection of manufacturing process and confirm the appropriateness of the component means here the manufacturing of process development under this heading the appropriateness of the equipment used for the intended product should be discussed means which types of uh, means which uh, equipments are going to be used means uh, which manufacturing process are going to be used that should be need to be discussed the manufacturing process development program or the process improvement program should identify any critical process parameters that should be monitored or controlled means during the uh, during the manufacturing that uh, critical process parameter need to be monitored and controlled like the granulation uh, end point to ensure the product if it is desired quality then the container closure system the choice for selection of container closure system for the commercial product should be discussed means during the commercialization uh, which types types of the containers are used for the packing that need to be discussed the choice of material for primary packing and secondary packaging should be justified means which types of material materials are going to be used uh, for primary as well as the secondary packaging is it is compatible with product that needs to be justified a possible interaction between the product and container or label should be considered means your uh, product as well as the container and the label this all this component need to be considered during the uh, to decide the uh, planning of the uh, packaging or packaging development then microbiological attributes the selection and effectiveness of preserve preservative system in product containing antimicrobial preservatives or the antimicrobial effectiveness first trial product the integrity of the container closure system as it as it relates to preventing microbial contamination the lowest specified concentration of antimicrobial preservative should be justified in terms of efficacy and safety in case of the, the lower concentration of uh, antimicrobial agent that needs to be justified means uh, in terms of the uh, efficacy as well as the safety then compatibility the compatibility of the drug product with reconstitution diluent should be addressed to provide appropriate and supporting information for the labeling this is the compatibility example is the precipitation stability thank you